condition of normal working of electrical equipment. A power tool is designed keeping in mind specific issues related to its functionality. Every tool, if used within the limits of these points, gives an interrupted service for a long time. But if this limit is violated, problems arise in the electrical equipment, the equipment malfunctions and eventually shuts down or becomes useless. Going Supply voltage electric load slash current voltage capacity frequency operating rating temperature speed supply voltage supply voltage how much is the supply AC or DC of the electrical equipment 110 volts slash 230 V slash 440 V etc are designed accordingly some appliances are AC only works just above for example electric motors fans transformers etc. while some equipment only operates in DC. Operate only on supply for example, electroplating, anodizing, chemical processes etc. and some equipment operate on both types of supply. Is for example, filament lamp, ill. Is re, fireplace, etc. similarly, the voltage at which the electrical equipment will operate is also determined. A voltage less than this will not allow the equipment to function properly while higher voltage will damage the equipment and increase the possibility of equipment failure. Electric load slash current, the capacity of an electrical appliance is expressed in watts. That according to the maximum current it can carry, the current should pass through it. Excess current may flow due to several reasons. For example, high mechanical load. Low voltage etc. Passing more current causes the conductor to heat up and the heat damages its insulation causing electrical equipment failure. Overload protection system and some equipment against excessive current are provided which operate during overcurrent to prevent damage to the equipment by tripping it from the supply. 3. Temperature 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 also plays an important role in the proper functioning of the electrical equipment. For example, an instrument at 70 degrees Celsius. If it works at temperature its lifetime is 20 years, if the same equipment if 80 degrees CG if run on, its life is halved. If the temperature exceeds the limit, the insulation breaks, punctures and the electrical equipment fails. Generally for home consumption heat capacity of equipment insulation is 90 degrees Celsius. Are as follows. This capacity of equipment is more than generating heat. 4. Speed. Most of the electrical equipment uses an electric motor. Such speed limit of equipment should be maintained. If not, its moving parts are damaged. As the speed increases, centrifugal force is generated in the tool and separates the rotating parts from the main body. These loose parts damage the windings etc. causing equipment failure. 5. Voltage Capacity Any device is designed according to the power to use it. As it is overloaded, more current flows in it than the rated current and the temperature of the equipment increases. So the insulating power of the insulating material in the instrument is reduced. Leakage current increases. Eventually the instrument gets so hot that smoke comes out of its windings. The equipment becomes useless. 6. Frequency Operate the equipment only on the supply having the frequency shown on the name plate of the equipment should if it is driven from a higher frequency supply, it heats up due to the increased magnetic field. Its efficiency decreases. 7. Operating rating Operating rating, according to the capacity of each equipment, its ratings, for example, continuous rating, intermittent rating and short time rating are given so that its temperature remains within the prescribed limits. The tool should be used accordingly. If there is a mistake in it, the temperature of the equipment increases a lot and a fault occurs in it. Very good, good, good. Effects of violation of safety limits of electrical equipment. If the safety limits of electrical equipment are not maintained, it can have the following effects. Electrical equipment. 1. Efficiency of electrical equipment decreases. 2. The electrical equipment cannot perform the required function. 3. Electrical equipment becomes unsafe. 4. Short circuit occurs in electrical equipment. 5. There is danger of shock due to current leakage in electrical equipment. 6. Damage to other parts of the electrical equipment. 7. There is danger of fire due to sparking in electrical equipment. 8. Life of electrical equipment is reduced. 
Nine, frequent power failure. Ten, utility decreases. Definition of preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance is the regular periodic inspection of electrical equipment before it becomes damaged and stops working. Due to this, the electrical equipment provides an interrupted trouble-free operation for a long period of time. Helps in increasing productivity. Advantages of preventive maintenance Advantages of preventive maintenance Following are the advantages of taking care and maintenance of electrical equipment from time to time. 1. Major damage caused by small fault in electrical equipment can be prevented. 2. Repairing cost Maintenance cost is greatly reduced. 3. The utility of electrical equipment increases as it provides fault-free operation for a longer period of time. Hence production increases. 4. In a continuous process industry the danger of power loss during operation is eliminated. 5. In continuous process industries the rate of profit is high as its rate of production is maintained. 6. Faultless operation of power equipment preserves the quality of the product. 7. The faultless operation of the power tool enhances the efficiency of its operator. 8. Proper maintenance as per schedule can prevent catastrophic accidents due to lack thereof.